What's going on, ladies and gents? Kevin here from SportsBoxBreaks.com, coming to you live Monday night, July 1st, 2019, busting open our next case of 2019 Tops Stadium Club Baseball. This is going to be case break number two. Who has who in the break? Let's see. Arizona Diamondbacks going to Tommy K. The Atlanta Braves going to Chris C. The Baltimore Orioles going to Travis S. The Boston Red Sox. Jeremy B, Chicago Cubbies, Aaron F, the Chicago White Sox, Jeremy B, Cincinnati Reds going to Travis S, Cleveland Indians going to Aaron F, Colorado Rockies, Aaron F, Detroit Tigers going to Mike T, the Houston Astros going to Chris G, the Kansas City Royals going to Robert T, Los Angeles Angels going to Kent R, Los Angeles Dodgers going to Derwin S, Miami Marlins, Aaron F, the Milwaukee Brew Crew going to Aaron F. Minnesota Twins going to Greg Z. The New York Mets going to Tommy K. New York Yankees going to Robert G. The Oakland A's going to Burley H. Philadelphia Phils going to Jeremy B. Pittsburgh Pirates, Mark C. San Diego Padres going to Tommy K. San Francisco Giants going to Mike T. Seattle Mariners, Aaron F. St. Louis Cardinals, Aaron F. Tampa Bay Rays going to Greg Z. Texas Rangers going to Greg Z. Toronto Blue Jays, Jeremy B. And the Washington Nationals going to Travis S. All right, guys, good luck, good luck. We do have more of this product on the website. So, guys, if you didn't get a chance to jump into either Case Break 1 or 2, you can get into Break 3 or 4 because we got two more of them filling up on the site. Check it out, Stadium Club in the baseball category or just search the word stadium on the homepage. All right, here we go. 16 boxes of goodness coming up. Sixteen boxes of goodness. Oh. All right, this is gonna be a lot of cards, guys. A lot of cards. Trying to get all these boxes out of here in one fell swoop. Almost. One just like flipped right out at us. It's this guy right here. Okay. Let's do this. Let's put that guy back in his place. Let's shift it into two stacks. And let's count it. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side is eight. That makes 16. Here we go. On the big screen, Tom. I love it. I love it. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm running around here in between that prison break to get a couple things done. Okay, so each box has one of the oversized uh, box loaders, the box toppers. So I'm going to put the box toppers down. We're going to look at 16 of those together at the very end. So no box toppers busted as we do the, as we do the boxes. We're going to do them all at the end. Okay. Let's see if we want to do these one at a time or two at a time. Can't remember how I did the first one. Was it two? What do you say, guys? Autographed box loader this time? I know they're pretty rare. Call our shot early. Guys, we have personal boxes of these available. Jason has some personal boxes in inventory back in uh, Pennsylvania. So tomorrow he's going to be live if you want to get your own box of this stuff. You can get a whole box. Check out our prices on those personal boxes in comparison to just going out and buying a box yourself, guys. Prices are going to be better, and plus it's a lot more fun to see it busted open, right? The multiplex, I love it. Greg, you were talking about painting from uh, from raw sheetrock all the way up to like a finished painted wall. Back in um, 2005, I had a custom built home, and I let my my girlfriend at the time's father talk me in to not letting them paint the place and taking on the painting myself of the entire house. And the house was like I don't know, 3,300 square feet or something. So I let him talk me into this. And let me tell you, man, I was bitching this guy every day of my life. 
I was bitching him. Don't know why I let him talk me into that. All right, here we go. Let me get the camera focus dialed in. So again, folks, I'm saying this for the benefit of those that are new breakers with us. Well, two things. First of all, website address at the bottom of the screen right there, guys. If you're new with us and you came in through an eBay listing, jump on in and uh, pick some stuff up through the website going forward, guys. We have this website. It's where we sell most of our break spots. eBay is a secondary marketplace entirely. So come on in through the website, sign up a free account. Also, guys, you're getting every card pulled. So in an effort to keep this thing flowing... We're only going to showcase, like, even the um, even the stuff with color, like the reds and so on, like right here is our first red, Lorenzo Kane, Not numbered, but obviously we are going to show this. Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward's going to be our first on card auto here for the Angels. Beautiful. And guess what? The Angels... It's upside down. The Angels was um, a refund spot, Kent. So Kent picked it up. A gentleman had the spot, and uh, we had to refund him because he's uh, gave us a real hard time, and that's got some numbering as well. Four out of 25 on that Taylor Ward. So a little karma right there for picking it up, Kent. So that spot was sold and refunded. <laughs> Empty wrappers. No, thank you. I've still got a stack of kid reporters about three inches high. So here's our first chrome. It's a Syndergaard and Mets chrome. If you guys see any like uh, SPs or like photo variations that are noticeable before I get too far past them, just give me a yell in the chat. Let me know because I won't know what the heck to be looking for necessarily with that. <laughs> Free case, Jeremy? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, when all that weird stuff was going on in the chat, like, I'd have to look for, I love all these, like, old, you know, these old-timey photos that are now colorized, but they did a good job with the colorizations on them, actually. I have to look for the little blue wrench to indicate that we uh, that we made that person a moderator at some point in time previously. Last one was a case hit, the vision card. Did I pass off a vision card? Which one are we talking, guys? All right, it's very possible. I'm sitting here chit chattering. Chit chattering it up. It wasn't? Yeah, those vision cards are like relic cards. They have like the the little window built onto them. Right? Is that the one you're talking about? Alright, let's keep going here, guys. We pulled one auto so far. What are we getting? Two autos in every box, right? Back to it. Here's a second auto. Nick Martini, extra olives for Oakland. Oakland in this one belongs to Burley, the duo. Burley, where you at, buddy? I know you're usually in the chat. Haven't seen you in the chat tonight. Nick Martini, second auto. <laughs> Sleep drunk. <laughs> uh, Sean Reed Foley, black. I think we can get through these rather quickly tonight because we know that these aren't numbered, the reds and such, so we can go through a wee bit faster. Uh, here's a Bryce Harper beam team, beam team of Bryce. And a last little bit here from Box Uno. Any Rosario Red. Okay, that's the first box, guys. Give me a minute to offload. Only 15 more to go.
Tommy, is the uh, is the YouTube app built into your new TV, or do you have it on like a Fire Stick or something? How are you pulling in YouTube? All right, here comes the second box. Because the Fire Stick used to have a YouTube app, and then Google and Amazon started feuding with one another over video precedence. And there's our second top loader. Let's put it off to the side. And then YouTube, the native YouTube app, was no longer functional on the Fire Stick. So you had to get YouTube in a different way. There they are with that geek stuff again, right? There they are with that geek stuff. Talking apps. Side loading. I'm going to step it up to two boxes at a time. Call me crazy. New cable box. Ah, oh, the bottle cable vision. Very cool. Very cool. To be honest, I end up watching more content these days, like original content um, on YouTube than I do on like anything else. Like, more so than Netflix, more so than, like, network television. I'm, like, sucked into the world of YouTube way more. There's a lot of original content, a lot of good stuff on there. <clears throat> and I'm not talking about Jake Paul. Apple TV? Yep. I bought the... Uh, I've been a fan of like Android devices on the TV since, you know, gosh, as long as they've been making them. I can do two of these at a time, guys. Let's, uh, just to get through them a little faster, we'll bust open two of them at a shot. So there's one. So Prime Day, remember good old Amazon Prime Day? That's coming up in a few days or next week, I think, right? I would highly suggest if you guys like the Fire Sticks, get that Fire Stick 4K. It's not much of a difference. It's bigger, but the processor is way faster inside of it. And you get a remote that can handle um, the power and volume controls for your television as well. So you don't longer have to have two remotes for the Fire Stick and your TV at the same time. Canceling Netflix? I don't blame you. I'll tell you, man. I, uh, I had a subscription to Netflix for shoot years and I would watch one thing every like three months Greg I only like Prime for the shipping I don't watch much on the Amazon Prime video selections although I did watch a pretty cool documentary the other day it was called I think it was called After Flash it was a documentary about the guy and the movie production for Flash Gordon back in the 80s. So the dude that played Flash Gordon in the 80s movie that went on to like be in the like Ted 1 and 2, Sam, what the hell is his last name? Sam Jones, I think, played Flash Gordon in the 80s movie. And it was a documentary all about like the fallout about this guy's career after the Flash Gordon movies. It was kind of kind of interesting. That was on Amazon Prime Video. All right, here we go. Next two boxes at a time. Let's go right here, the one we were working through. Let's find those two autos. Warp speed, some of those warp speeds do have coloring on them so we'll and here comes our first all right david fletcher angels red right behind it is a kyle wright kyle wright auto for the braves braves going to chris c chris c picking up one of the two autos
black. I feel like the camera's off kilter. Am I too high or too low? Let's try that. All right, we got a Wade Boggs Chrome. There's another color. It's, it looks like it's a colorized photo, but it's George Brett, so it can't be all that old. Lou Gehrig. Cedric Mullins, red. Max Scherzer, red. Strowman. What time is it? 8.45, so 9, 10, 11. It's almost midnight for most of you guys that are hanging out East Coast time. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for getting this filled up. Trey Mancini, and here it comes, guys, and it's a chrome. It's a chrome Jeff McNeil for the Mets. And guess who's got those Mets? Tommy K. Tom, I'll pull it way up close so you see it in all of its glory on that big screen, buddy. Jeff McNeil Chrome Auto. Coming your way, sir. And you got some numbering to 10, brother. Six out of 10. Boom. Boom. We pulled that Cal Ripken Jr. That was a Chrome Auto in the first case. Now, some Chrome Auto again. Congratulations. Actually, it was this Cal Ripken Jr. right here in the Chrome version, and it was autoed in the first case. All right, let's find something cool. All right, what do we got? Altuve Beam Team. Altuve Beam Team. Got a Chris Sale Red. And then we have a Warp Speed with some coloring. Francisco Lindor Warp Speed Indians, and that's red. All right, that's one of the two. Let's put that to the side. Oh, uniform number to six also? I didn't even notice, Tom. Uni number to six as well? Excellent, man. Excellent. All right, so our first red's going to be coming up in a second here. Usually, right after that first red is where the first auto falls. So Pedroia red, and there it is. San Francisco Giants with a Ray Black. Ray Black going to Mike. Mike T. Ray Black auto for you, Mike. There's a Billy Hamilton red. Ryan O'Hearn chrome for KC. So it was one of these before that you thought was the uh, Emperors of the Zone, that you thought was the Vision. They do kind of look like the Vision, the way the window like and the Visions is over to the side like that. Uh, what do we got? Black and white. Black and white. Got a warp speed of Baez. And here comes our next one, guys. It's Tukey. Ted Williams red in front of it. And here comes Tukey. Tukey Toussaint. Tukey. Atlanta Braves. Braves going to Chris C. Chris picking up a Tukey auto. Okuna. Black. There's Christy Matthewson, the home team. The hometown boy. So, Tommy, you're originally from the Scranton area. Did you know that Matthewson is from that area, too, originally? Well, was from that area. He was up past uh, Clark Summit and those areas up there. Originally from there. Power zone of Bow. Uh, 
Uh, what do we got? A beam team of Yelich. And last little bit from the third box. We did one and then we did two. So this is box number three right now. Nick Martini. Okay. Give me a sec here, folks. Offload these cards, make some space on the table. I will certainly be hit recapping this one at the end. I still have to do the monthly giveaways tonight, and I promise to hit recap and figure out where the points go on the basketball that went off, the Chronicles, but I'll probably do the Chronicles hit recap and random a bit later offline and just upload the video. From Nanakoke. No, that's pretty awesome. How about Rocket Ismael, too? Rocket Ismael was from uh, the Northeast Pennsylvania area. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm drinking, uh, what's my drink of choice tonight? We got some uh, zero sugar Coca Cola cherry. It's pretty delicious, if I must say. <clears throat> Rocket Ismail, beautiful college career. Not so much on the pro career, right? All right, here's another one. Top loader. That dude had some serious speed in his day. Who else? Larry Holmes on the boxing side. Larry Holmes was a local back there. Can't forget <laughs> the former VP who's running again, or supposedly running again, who knows? Joe Biden. Joe Biden's from the Scranton area. Hillary Rodham Clinton, also connections to the Scranton area. Jeremy, these are all coming your way in a big, a big garbage bag, buddy. Walt Michaels, the old Jets coach, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. From Swar uh, Swearsville. Interesting, man. I'm telling you, there's all kinds of weird connections back there. pack from stack number one of two. All right, let's do that again. Lived around the corner. That's pretty cool. On a much, much lesser scale, the man who held the bench press world record for a long time, like many years, was this guy, Chimesy Williams. He was a Scranton local. Held the bench press world record for, God, I don't know, in the 80s? Like, it was a long time. It was like... You can Google that up. Chimesy Williams. Scranton's claim to fame.
Scranton does have a Houdini museum. Believe it or not, a Houdini museum. And the reason is because like back in the 1920s when the whole vaudeville thing was going on, Scranton was like a stop on that vaudeville circuit and Houdini was part of that whole circuit and so they opened up a Houdini museum. It's like a rinky-dink little house. Bryce Drew. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do it. Two more boxes. Here goes. We also, let me, let me say this, we did break Gloria Estevan's back. I'm just going to leave it at that until we get a little deeper. We did break her back. And by we, I mean Scranton. <laughs> You're like, what is this guy talking about? Okay. Carlos Santana, red. So, behind this red is probably, and it is, Taylor Ward. Again. So, the Angels, again, as I mentioned, Kent, the Angels were a return. And you're picking up some more action for the Angels. Taylor Ward, is this one numbered? Not numbered like the first, buddy. But Taylor Ward auto coming your way for the Angels, second one. All right, so you're curious. How did we break Gloria Estevan's back? <clears throat> she was traveling through Scranton in a, uh, in a tour bus in the 80s, and the tour bus got in a terrible accident, and she, like, literally broke her back. <clears throat> In the Scranton area. Terrible. Ricky Red. They got a Chris Sale. Chris Sale Chrome. Not numbered on back. I'll have to check out the vid in a little bit. What do we got? Big Mac Power Zone. Ah, Red of Carrasco. You ever see some of those YouTube videos where they go around to dead malls? There's like a whole like two or three guys that do those videos like professionally. They go around <clears throat> and view like malls that are like in their final stages before they're going to die out. They actually came to Scranton about like maybe five or six years ago and did the Steamtown Mall. And the headline for the video was like from... Justin Bieber to just plain like dead or something like that because like not that many years prior when Justin Bieber was on his rise and here we go right behind Matsui is a Corey Dickerson Corey Dickerson oh that's a pretty good looking auto Pittsburgh on the board not numbered on the back Pittsburgh going off to Mark C very nice Ghost Hunters, yeah, they, they went to the Steamtown Mall locally in Scranton and did one of these dead mall videos showcasing the Steamtown Mall. And, uh, like, just a few years prior to that, like, Justin Bieber was doing, like, a mall concert from there, and then a few years later, the mall's, like, on life support. So that's what they, <laughs> that's what they focused on. Here's an Otani Beam Team. All right, last little bit from this stack. Here's Vlad Jr. Okay, that stack is down. Let me just offload it here. The Ghost Hunters. Here we go. Okay. Who I thought it was going to be? Behind the first red almost every single time so far has been the auto. But no, not that one. Son of a bee. Okay, Bregman Beam Team. Unless I opened up the packs in like opposite order from what I had in previous stacks. I know, I thought it, I thought it was going to be, man. Okay, so here's a red. Here's Zimmerman, red, and still no auto behind it. Uh, 
All right. Is Tops doing uh? Is Tops doing some business here? Are they forgetting the autos? They've been known to do that. All right, we got a Nelson Cruz black and white. Uh, warp speed. Let's keep going. Okay. This time, and there it is. Okay, so there's one of them. Got a Kevin Kramer. Kevin Kramer. Pittsburgh on the board. Pittsburgh going to Mark. Kevin Kramer Auto coming your way, Mark. All right, we're still due one more. Still due one more. They really teased us with that Vlad. Okay, we got an Ichiro Beam Team. Okay, well, it's got to be in this stack right here unless I missed it. So let's keep the whole stack right in front of me so far. Just in case we have to go back through it. Okay, so here's a red. Will Clark and Chris Bryant behind it. Guys, we pulled the Kevin Kramer. And we pulled the Dickerson. Did we pull the Dickerson in this box? So we've done one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. So we should have 10 autos in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm not like out of my mind. That was a shorted auto, right? Let's do a quick look see. Very possible I could have passed right by it. Looking for ink. Oh, tops. Come on. Don't do it to us. Check the back of the Vlad card. All right. I'll even check the backs of all of them. How's that? It'll take a while, but we'll do it. Let's find that Vlad card for sure, but let me look for an auto that I just very well might have missed. I don't think I did though. Just giving a quick visual. So here's Vlad, right? So that was the one. So we had the Lourdes up front red, right? Right behind it we had the Vlad, which I thought was going to be where the first auto should fall. And here's Vlad. Yep, no numbering, no nothing on the back of the Vlad. So they shorted us an auto. Maybe it'll show up in another box. But if not, I'll be putting in a quality assurance request with a uh, good old Tops company to get a replacement. So it happens once in a while, as we know, unfortunate as it is. Or maybe one of the top loaders is autoed, right? That's a possibility also. So we shall see. Let's. Keep chugging forward. But if we get to the end of it, guys, and they did short us a full, like one auto out of a box, I will certainly be putting in a QA request. So, all right, here we go. There's the top loader.
There's my stack. Here comes box number two. Get these out of the way. They're right in the way. Yeah, maybe the box topper could be. It's possible. So let's see. So let's uh, let's do this. So this box topper is the one from the current. No, we got two boxes. So this box topper and this box topper would be these two. So this box topper right here would be the box where it was potentially missing on. So let's do this. With a little dry erase marker, put a little X on that one. We'll put a little X. So this one right here should be, I could see who it is. I can't see if there's ink, but I could see it says Bryce Harper. <laughs> so we'll see when we get to that one, guys. Let's make it fun. Could it be a Bryce Harper autographed box topper? Who's got the fills? Jeremy B, that's you, buddy. The topper has them have the Nationals though, do they? The Nationals is Travis, Travis S. So we shall see, something to look forward to. Okay, there's one stack of High Society. Actually, let's do a third one on this one because the numbers are gonna be off. Harper isn't a box topper auto, just a base. Boo, boo, boo. So they definitely shorted us one because yeah, that box topper should be the way that I, I went backwards in numbering. That one there should be the one from the uh, from the box that was missing an auto. Vlad is worth more than most autos, even just the Vlad regular. Is that right? Okay, so let's do this, guys, since we're going to be, like, off on numbers. I'm doing these two at a time now, but when we first started, I only did the first one. So let's do this guy. So that way, it'll leave us an even. What do we got? One, two, three, four. Four blocks of two still remaining after we get through these boxes. So just so I leave us an even number. So we'll do three in this one. All right, there's our loader from that one. Put that guy with our top loader stack. All right. He's not, I mean, he doesn't show up a bunch in this, right? There was only, across the entire first case, there was only a few Vlad Juniors across the whole thing, so.
He was added in later, Tommy, is that right? That makes sense. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Let's just do the one first that we just ripped. So here we go. Okay, so here is our first red. It's an Otani. And let's see if they follow suit. And yeah, there he is, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt showing up for the Yanks. And the Yanks going off to Robert G. Robert. Luke Floyd Otto coming your way, bud. So, yeah, that first case. The real kick in the ass there, Jeremy, is that that Vlad Jr. fell right after the first red, which is where the auto should be. <laughs> so, like, that's the real kick in the, kick in the butt on that. All right, Trevor Bauer is one of our chromes here. Cleveland Indians chrome, not numbered. Uh, Justin Verlander, Houston. I mean, I could have had the packs out of order as I pulled them out of the... Because the packs being in the exact order dictates that red... Got a Ty Cobb. But never fear, guys. If they short us, I'm on it. Nothing I hate worse than buying a whole case of product. All right, here we go. Dakota Hudson. Dakota Hudson, St. Louis. That's Aaron's, Aaron F. Dakota Hudson Auto coming your way, Aaron. Yeah, nothing I hate more than buying a whole case of product, which they, you know, everything is crazy expensive, and then they short you one of the value pieces of the product. All right, Chris Sale, Beam Team. All right, what do we got? Got Don Mattingly in a chrome. Not numbered on the Mattingly chrome. Jonathan Shoup. Beam team right behind it of Manny, and it's black to 99. Pretty cool. 31 of 99. All right, there's one of them. I'm going to leave them right there and offload them all at the same time. Here comes the second stack. Okay, here's our red. Austin Meadows, and just behind it, Jake Cave. Jake Cave for the Twins. That's going to Greg Z. Greg, picking up a Jake Cave auto. Very nice. Chris Davis Black. All right, red. Here's Cal Ripken Jr. Chrome, the same Chrome that we pulled the auto of from Mike. Still amazed at that card, Mike. Crazy stuff. The Caveman. There's Otani Power Zone. Pujols Red. All right, George Brett, red. All 
You got it, Greg. My pleasure, buddy. And here comes the next one, guys. Roger Maris Red in front of it, and it's a Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, Baltimore, going to Travis. Travis S. Luis Ortiz, Baltimore Orioles, Auto coming your way, Trav. Dallas Black. Here's a Syndergaard Chrome. Paul Goldschmidt on the beam team. Still haven't found that vision yet. Vision's hiding out somewhere. Not the character from uh, X-Men. Or X-Men? Not X-Men at all. Here's another Vlad for you, buddy. Here's another Vladdy. Not X-Men at all. I'm talking Avengers. Vision. All right, here we go. Third box. All right, here comes our red. Miles Straw is the red. Who's behind him? Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom, Texas. Texas going off to Greg Z. Greg, your teams are heating up, buddy. There's a roller mark, it looks like, right across the center of the card, Greg. You can probably see it when I show it, like... Right above the the T E X A S, you can see like a roller mark from the manufacturing or the whatever. But just to point that out, that it's coming out of the pack like that. Patrick Wisdom, Texas Auto. Tukey Black. Brooks Robinson. Here's Baez. Chrome for the Cubs. Jeff McNeil, red. I know, I know. Matt Olson. Oakland. Here's Johnny Bench. What do we got here? Johnny Bench. Chrome. And is that orange? It might be orange. It is orange. 36 out of 99 of the Johnny Bench. Okay. And who? I didn't even see it was coming. Base card autograph red foil parallel, Colby Allard. Didn't even see the redemption coming behind it. Colby Allard. Do I want to say Braves? Who's Colby Allard with? Colby Allard, Braves. I was right. First instinct. Uh, the Braves going to Chris C. Chris C picking it up. Base card autograph red foil parallel. Colby Allard, SCA-KA. Braves. Congratulations, sir. All right, let's keep rolling here, see if we got anything else in the stack. All right, last little bit from the third box here. We're going to do two boxes after this. Tony Gwynn, beam teaming. Emperors of the Zone, Syndergaard. Got a red of Trumbo, and what do we got? We got a Christian Yelich, Power Zone Red. Power Zone Red. Not numbered, but it is a red. Insert on the Power Zone. All right, guys, three boxes there. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. So we're officially halfway through the case. Halfway through. We're still chugging along here. 
So we've been at it for how long so far? We've been recording for 50 minutes, 5-0. So we're going to be like an hour 45 with this whole thing, which is about right. I'll hit recap it when I'm done, and then I'll do the monthly giveaways. So we still got some work ahead of us. All right, here we go. Let's go to the top, two of them, and keep this thing going. All right, there's the top loader. Putting that off to the side. One empty box. Top loader. Second empty box. gonna fall off there and stab me in the hand I had my uh, this was like hanging off like that I'm like that's gonna fall right off there and stab me in the hand Where's the next no base auto? Maybe they'll make up, Tom. Maybe they'll make up for uh, give us some kind of crazy one of one super fractor auto. Okay, that's one stack, one box opened. Box number two, and this thing keeps sliding down at me. We pulled a regular Super Fractor in the previous case. Let's uh, let's pull the auto version this time. Eighteen spots left in Stadium Club number three, fellas. That's going to be lined up tomorrow. Jason will be live, usual place, usual time, and he's got more of it back in PA, so he'll be live with it tomorrow. It's going to be his only session this week because Thursday is the 4th of July, so of course we're not going to be doing breaks on the 4th of July. So we'll have one fewer sessions this week than normal. We did have one extra session last week than normal because there was a Friday release, so it all kind of equals out, but we'll be live tomorrow and Wednesday. Not going to be live on Thursday. And as far as I know right now, I don't think we're going to make up for an extra session on Friday. I think we're going to enjoy the holiday weekend, blow some things up, you know, America. Okay, last pack. Here we go. Getting right at it. Getting right at it. Where's that first red? Okay, here it is. Okay. Max Muncy, first red. Behind it is Jose Brasino. 
Brasino for the Angels. That's the third Angels auto. And if I hadn't mentioned, guys, I'm saying it because I'm a little salty the way the refund went down. We refunded the gentleman that originally owned the Angels spot, and uh, Kent came in and picked it up. So, Kent, you are, uh, you're you're getting some karma back your way, buddy. Third auto for those Angels. Congratulations, sir. Severino Black. Rizzo. All right, what do we got? Hank Aaron Chrome. Nice. Hank Aaron Chrome. Not numbered on the Hank Aaron. <clears throat> uh, Ahmed for the Mets. That is red. Still haven't pulled the vision yet. Okay. Brandon Nimmo. No, Joey Votto. Behind it. Okay. Check this out. We got a Max Scherzer chrome orange for the Nationals. Nationals belong to Travis. That's pretty nice, man. 63 of 99 on the Scherzer chrome orange. Uh, here's Dee Dee, and here it is. It is Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn, auto, going to KC. Kansas City goes to Robert T. Robert T. owns that spot. Congratulations, Robert. Let's keep this going. Stroman Black. All right, and O'Hearn Red. All right, we got a Derek Jeter beam team. Nolan Ryan. Got a red of Hank Aaron. There's Vladdy again showing up. Okay, that's one stack. We got two of them here, fellas. Two of them. So let's look at the second one. If I hold them down, like, at a different angle, it's tough to see. So I'm trying my best to hold them upright. Okay. Here's our red. Albert, Albert Elmora Jr. for the Cubbies. And behind it, Reese McGuire is auto number one. Reese McGuire, auto number one for the Blue Jays. Jeremy B. Jeremy owns that spot. Picking up one of them, Jeremy. Congrats, congrats. Stephen Piscotti, black. All right, we got a Robbie Ray, red. Uh, Joey Votto. One of the chromes. What do we got? Nico uh, Goodrum. Max Scherzer chrome behind Nico. Not numbered. All right, here's Chapman, and nope, no auto behind it. Okay, we keep going. All right, Corbin Burns, and here it is, guys. It is going to be Brandon Lowe. Brandon Lowe auto. Tampa Bay, right? Tampa Bay Rays, yep. Tampa Bay Rays going to Greg Z. Greg picking that one up. Brandon Low Auto, sir. Congratulations. There's Loreno Red. All right. Okay, beam team of Molina. 
St. Louis. Cal Ripken Jr. Red, Emperors of the Zone, Walker Bueller, and that's black. To 99, 6 of 99. All right, guys, that's two more boxes in the books. Give me a minute. Pushing these cards over to my side table. I think everybody's asleep. All my East Coast guys, it's getting late over there. What do we got? 9.30 here West Coast, so past midnight over there. All right, guys, what do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're doing two at a time, so we got three more openings. It's like wow instead of lao. Okay, okay. So Brandon Lau, Brandon Lau, I mean, I pronounce everything wrong, so <laughs> it's, it's information to me. All right, here's our box topper, number whatever. Let's see, Tom. I'm always holding out hope for everybody, guys, on the booms. Don't hate the messenger. Don't hate the messenger, Tom. I'm holding out hope, buddy. Let's see if we can pull a good one for you. Still got a good chunk of the case left to look at, though. There's our topper. I'm trying to do this so everybody can see the packs coming out of here. All right, there we go, here we go. Here we go, Tom. <laughs> Favre, Brett Favre. So far, they've still shorted us an auto. I'm holding out hope that that auto lives in the uh, box toppers. I know the, well, I think the specific box topper that came out of that box shouldn't be autoed, but maybe one of the others will, which kind of makes it even, Steven. We'll see, we'll see. Candy, Tom, uh, pretty fond of uh, the gummy watermelons. Gummy, wa gummy watermelons, although for the last four weeks I've been off all forms of sugar. I'm under, you know, 10 grams of carbs a day for four weeks straight now. Doing my best to stick with it, so we'll see. Dropping some pounds, that feels good. So at the moment, no candy. Do I sense a bribe coming up? Some candy bribe? Yeah, the no carbs is not an easy thing. Yeah, I've I've done it. I've done it on and off for years now. I'm trying to stick with it for at least like two months this time. Drop like 25 pounds or so during that two months. Oh, Robert, you got it, buddy. When was, uh... Robert, we appreciate it, my friend. You know, this is, a, this is a tricky business to be in, doing it for profit. I mean, there's not a whole lot of profit to be had. You probably hear breakers talk about that all the time. You're certainly not getting rich off this stuff. It's more of a labor of love. You're making a couple bucks. I mean, you can't do it for nothing, but... 
But we appreciate it. You guys make it a whole lot of fun. Pizza Freak and just do five miles a day. Tom, I wish I can get into a regimen with exercise, man. I joined the gym a couple months ago, and I've gone literally once. I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. One single time, Tom. Um, I really need to get in the gym and do the no carbs at the same time, not just diet without the exercise. I need to do both. All right, here we go. Here we go. But, yeah, Robert, thanks very much for that, that the kind words there. We... Uh, we try to do our best, keep it entertaining, make sure you guys are getting back some value. All right, here we go. Cole Calhoun is going to be the red. And Ryan Baruki, Baruki is going to be auto number one. Auto number one out of the stack here. Toronto on the board again for Jeremy. Jeremy picking it up. There you go, man. Daryl Strawberry. Why is it every time I see a Daryl Strawberry card, I can't help but think about his troubled times? Right? The guy's done a bunch of stuff in sports, and you can't help but think about, like, cocaine and Daryl Strawberry. What the heck? Why do we focus on the bad? Corey Kluber, red. And here's Hoskins. One of the chromes. All right, Philadelphia Phil's chrome. Cut the lawn like every fifth or sixth day. The thing about out here, there's no lawns. <laughs> here in Vegas, my yard is literally stone. The only thing I can do to this yard is go out and basically kill the weeds popping up through the stone. Willie Calhoun, black and white for Texas. What else? Here's a Josh James Red. Oh, there it is. There's the vision. All right, you're going to see it in a minute, fellas. It's a pretty cool one. Insta vision alert coming up. All right, we've got a Travis Shaw Red, and behind it is our second auto, William Ostilio. I don't know, man. Don't hate on the pronunciation. That is going to be for the Twins. It's not William at all. It's Willens. Williams. Minnesota Twins, and this one belongs to who? That's Greg Z. Greg, there you go, buddy. Teams are doing well, Greg. Teams are doing well. It's another one coming your way. We're going to see the Insta Vision in just a sec. It's a pretty nice one. I can see the player. I can see the player. Simmons Black for the Angels. All right, you ready? There it is. Ichiro. Boom. Very nice. Insta Vision of Ichiro for Seattle. Seattle going to Aaron. One per case on these. Very nice. Insta Vision. Look at the hologram action going on or something happened in that Insta Vision. Pretty cool stuff. Ichiro for Seattle. Insta Vision. One per case. Congratulations, Aaron. Yeah, those are neat. Those are super cool. All right. Chris Bryant. Beam Team. All right, here's a red of Trevor Bauer. All right, that does it for that stack. Let's get the fresh stack in here. We still got four more to go after this, guys. Four more to go. All right, red's going to be coming up here any second. There it is. Okay, Baez, red, Cubbies. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, we got a little Bible inscription. Is that what that's going on? Bible verse? Nick Birdie. Nick Birdie, Pittsburgh. 
And the Pittsburgh Pirates belong to who? Pittsburgh Pirates, Mark C. Mark, I don't think Mark's in the house tonight. Mark's usually hanging out here. I don't think he's with us tonight. There you go, Mark. Congratulations, sir. Got a Wagner, black. Uh, what do we got? Red. And here is our first Chrome, Pete Alonzo, Mets. Chrome card. Have you guys noticed? I mean, I don't know what the uh, the alternate like pictures and stuff even look like. So you guys would definitely know. Have you noticed any as I was passing by? Gary Sanchez, red. Uh, Christy Matheson again. Okay, what do we got? Chris Taylor, red. Oh, the cereal on the back? Yeah. Yep. If we were going to get that deep in depth and show, yeah. Yeah, yep. You know, I saw it too, like the day before the product hit the market. I was looking at some of the documentation on those numbers and all that, and I can't remember what it stated either okay we're gonna see an auto behind this we got castro red and boom baby didn't even know it was gonna be redemption i didn't feel the redemption card in there base card auto of uh kristen stewart the variation ends in 805 so stewart what's the team designation on stewart where you be sir where you be that's going to be Detroit, correct? Detroit going to Mike T. Was that the final team? Was that the final team karma right there? I can't remember. Stewart, Detroit redemption card coming your way. Tigers. Fairly certain that was the final team pickup that closed out the case. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Mike did it. Getting a little love coming back on that one, Mike. Uh, Daryl Strawberry Black. Frank Thomas Red. I know some guys are just so good and know the card set so well, they see the picture and boom, they instantly tag, you know. Uh, here's an Okuna. Okuna. Chrome. The variations are one in about eight boxes, Tom. Yeah, some of the guys that were in, in the first case were pretty knowledgeable. Some of the newer guys that were with us were super knowledgeable on the card set, too. And they were throwing numbers in there. All right, we got a Severino, Emperors of the Zone. That's orange. Fitty out of Fitty. So a little eBay one of one on that one. Pretty cool. New York Yanks belong to who? Yankees going to Robert G. There you go, Robert. Nice. Emperors of the zone. Insert 50 out of 50. All right, guys. Give me a sec. Offload these. We got four boxes remaining. So what do we got? Two, four, six, eight autos still left to unearth. So eight autos. Hopefully nine autos. Hopefully they make up for that missing auto somewhere along the line. One sec here, fellas. One sec. Okay. Next two. Let's keep doing two at a clip. loader you know it's funny like months ago we bought these top loader um like you know regular top loaders for oversized like box loaders except the damn things are like uh eight by ten in size so none of these box loaders are ever that big so i've got a full package of these eight by ten top loaders for the oversized box loaders that it just can never get used. 
never get used. We should probably buy some, I suppose, but we just, you know, fabricate something out of cardboard to keep it rigid as it's uh, shipping. The struggles. Okay, should be a good power zone, beam team, or a dual auto coming up, Tom. Yeah, we haven't pulled much yet in terms of that kind of stuff. Like, the first case seemed to be pretty loaded with that kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I got three cases of this product here in Vegas. Two of them came from our distributor that always ships here to Vegas. And then one of them came from our distributor from Georgia that usually only ships and fills up our inventory at Jason's location in PA. Just to keep an even Steven number of this stuff in each location. So I don't know if this case was the Pennsylvania, like the one from Georgia, or if this case... Oh, the Chrome Auto. Yeah, you're right. We did pull the Chrome Auto. So I'm just saying, I don't know if this case was the one that came from the East Coast or if this case was the one that came from uh, <clears throat> came from a distributor out here out West. Not that it matters. It's all coming from the same place, but... Always interesting to see, right? Okay, there's one stack. That's one box. How long are we at this so far tonight? We are at this so far for four hours and 47 minutes. One of these days I'm gonna update my graphic overlay, like this little overlay that sits at the bottom of the screen and all that. I'm gonna update that one of these days. Show a whole bunch of different stuff. Show basically how long we've been live. Have a little more clean window for this kind of stuff so you don't just have this black block sitting up here. Maybe have it in a nice little sidebar. Yeah. One of these days, guys. I've only been thinking about doing that for about a year. Look over here, click here to follow the channel. That uh, <laughs> that right there is a remnant from when we used to be on breakers.tv. Like that's not even applicable anymore. Click here to follow the channel is the breakers.tv stuff. Um, yeah. Really needs an update, really needs an update. All right, we're almost there, fellas. Two more boxes after these two. Then all the box toppers. Then a hit recap. Then some cash giveaways. All right, here we go. Let's look at this stack that we just ripped apart. So here we go, first stack. Oh, there it is. All right, Babe Ruth. All right, I know these are pretty rare, right? Members only. Foil stamp, members only. Babe Ruth for the Yanks. And the auto is directly behind it, guys. We already saw a little glimpse of it. Yanks, that's you, Robert. Robert G. Very nice, buddy. And here it is, guys. Valdez. Valdez for the Astros. Astros going to Chris G. Case hit on the Babe. Valdez, Houston Astros. I almost passed by it, Tom. Like I was just blazing through looking for the red before the first auto, but this one uh, a little bit different. Valdez coming your way, sir. All right, let's see what else. Got 
Got a Brad Keller. Red. Here's Sandy Koufax. Chrome. Power Zone. Will Clark. Okay, here's a red of you, Darvish. David Ortiz. Check out that uh, little salt and pepper, <laughs> whatever he's got going on. It's pretty interesting. All right, Lou Gehrig, red. And here we go. Is that two in a row? Is that a Houston clean sweep in this box? I think it is. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker, Otto. Houston and Chris. Chris G picking up two in a row. For his Houston spot. There you go, Chris. Congratulations, bud. Babe Ruth Black. Clayton Kershaw pitching with the Clydesdales. Okay. Johnny Bench Red. All right, we got an Aaron Judge beam team, beam team of Judge. Bregman Red. Okay, that box has been seen. Let's see this box. As soon as I flip them right side up. Okay, here's Hornsby Red. Behind it is very nice, and it's black as well. Who's got the Oakland spot in this one? Burley, the duo, picking up a Lariano. Auto Black. Very nice, Burley. Three out of 25. Three of two five, sir. Congratulations. Good stuff. Or Lorraine, I'm saying Lariano. Oakland and Burley. Congratulations, buddy. Nice hit. Nice hit. There's a Jimenez Black. All right, let's keep going. Is this the stack that has all the goodies? There's a George Springer Red, and what do we got here? A Chrome. It looks like it had some color going on, but I guess it's just the color of the background. It looked orange. But Chrome for the inks. Felix Hernandez, red. What do we got? Emperors of the Zone? Not numbered. Edwin Diaz, Mets, red. Oh, and here it comes, guys. How about it? Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly on card auto for the Yanks. Good stuff. Yankees doing well. New York Yanks going to Robert. And Robert's with us hanging out right now, too. Don Mattingly auto coming your way. Boom, buddy. Picked up the Babe Ruth. Now a Don Mattingly auto coming up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lewis Brinson, black. Brandon Crawford, red. All right, what do we got? Matsui Chrome for the Yanks. Not numbered.
Got a red of Urias. Last little bit. Two boxes to go. Patrick Wisdom. Well, here it is, guys. Is this the third auto? This is three autos in this box, right? This is three autos for sure in this box. Ad Adolis Garcia. So this is definitely a third auto. Garcia, St. Louis. Echoes to Aaron F. So they shorted one box, but they stacked another box. You guys can confirm, but I'm fairly fairly sure that is the third auto. We'll do a quick count. Got a Bob Feller black. Let's do a quick auto count in a sec here, guys. I think that should definitely fulfill the missing auto. Although it's weird that, you know, what if you had that box, you bought that box yourself, that hobby box that was definitely shorted. Yeah, there was a Babe Ruth. I'll show it to you in a sec. Actually, you know what? I'll show the hit recap. It was one of the um, those foil stamps that are like one per case, like case hit. Not an auto or anything, obviously. He's not signing new cards, considering he hasn't been alive. But, uh, you know, it would have to be a cut auto. But I'll show, I'll show everything at the end. We'll do a hit recap. Let's just keep the flow moving. But I'll hit recap it in just a few. There's an empty box. All right, this is all of it, folks. This is it. Last two boxes plus all the top loaders. I hope we pull an autograph top loader. That'd be awesome. Be a good way to finish. Tom, are those um, those stamp, the foil stamp, are there two of those per case? Because we pulled two of them in the first case. They were different. Each one was different. I can't remember what the second one was, but I, I know there was two of them in the first case. Members only, right? That's what it is. Members only. <clears throat> okay, there's one stack. Here comes a second. The other is first day issue. First day issue and members only.
All right, here we go. Final two boxes, guys. Four more autos. <sighs> Four more autos. What do we got? TJ is like five or ten of each, but not numbered. I'm starting to drag butt a little bit. Drag ass, if you will. All right, let's see what we got in these final two. Okay, Tommy Pham red, and behind it, Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen, another one for the Toronto spot. Toronto crushing it. Toronto, Jeremy B. on the ownership there, sir. Danny Jansen coming your way. Barry Larkin, black. And check this out, fellas. What the heck do we have here? A gold chrome of Bryce Harper? What's this numbered? Is it numbered anything? Gold refractor? I don't know. Haven't seen one before. I thought I was going to turn it around and see some crazy one-of-one one numbering. But, uh, okay. That's really, uh, that's really interesting. Philadelphia Phils belongs to Jeremy as well. So Jeremy picked up the auto, followed by that really nice Bryce Harper. All right, let's keep going. Yep, they're stacking a lot of the same teams. We've got a Garrett Cole red, and here's the same Bryce Harper in another chrome. Not a refractor, not a, not a gold or whatever it is. Each row red. Uh, Otani, Emperors of the Zone. Can we see a dual auto? Can we? Can we? Edgar Martinez. Then a Wagner. Daryl Strawberry, Cocaine. All right, here's a red, and there's an auto, and it's Miles Straw. They are stacking the same teams quite a bit in this case. Houston scoring another one. Miles Straw, Astros. Astros belongs to Chris G. Astros auto for you, Chris. Got a Wade Boggs black. What do we got? Aaron Nola, red. Rizzo, beam team. The Alonzo. See if we can conjure it up, Tom. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, what do we got? Felipe, Felipe Vasquez, red. And then we have an Emperors of the Zone, Walker Bueller, red for the Dodgers. Okay. One box down. Here comes the final box, fellas. Final box. Let's make it a good one, Tops. Let's make it a good one. All right. First red's going to be coming up. Here it is. Okay. Francisco Arcia, all right. Well, that's definitely different. But <laughs> it's the Angels. The Angels have scored. And again, the Angels were that return team. So the return team for Kent. Getting the love again, buddy. Interesting pose on Francisco. Signing right over his uh, his manhood there. Francisco Otto coming your way, Kent. That's like three Angels Autos, right? Or maybe four. Three to four Angels Autos. Bo Jackson, black. Uh, Shane Beebs, red. Don Mattingly, one of the Chromes. Nelson Cruz, red. Uh, 
All right, Tom Glavin. What else is in here? All right, here's the DJ Stewart red and nothing behind it yet. Okay, here's another red. Jeff Bagwell. And here it is, guys. Final auto is going to be Nicholas Siafo. How am I pronouncing that last name? That's going to be Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Rays. Greg Z picking up the last one. Last auto, unless they give us a bonus in here. Tampa Bay auto for you, Greg. Let's see what else we got. If anything, plus we still have the box toppers to look at, 16 of them. Uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. Black. Trey Turner Red. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Power Zone. Got an Okuna Beam Team. And the last little bit here, folks. And again, we still need to look at the 16 box toppers. And all right, we got a red. Finally, some color on one of the beam teams here. Rizzo, beam team. Shufo, Shufo. Cubbies, red. Carlton Fisk. And the last one is Merrifield KC. All right, guys, that's all of the standard cards out of the box. Let's... Uh, put these guys off to the side for a minute and let's bust into the 16 box toppers give me just a minute to offload here it's an alright case I mean a lot of duplicate teams coming in there a lot of the teams getting the same hits you know getting uh, getting all the hits but not too bad that first case was just so damn good it was crazy so hopefully the next couple will be even better. All right, here we go. Let's look at 16 box toppers, guys. Here goes. Greg is saying he has a feeling or something good. I don't know. Let's see, man. And I'm going to do a, once we get into the hit recap, we're going to keep a count of the autos. Let's get the camera down a little bit. So there should be 32 autos, right? 32 autos in total. All right. We could already see it. It's Molina, St. Louis. Let's get the... Uh, yeah, the camera's all right. So St. Louis picking up the first one. Not autographed. Soto coming up next. Washington going to Travis. Soto box topper. Not autoed. Let's find an auto in here. All right, Colorado Rockies with the Charlie Blackman. Not auto, but an epic beard nonetheless. I see Joey Votto coming up next. Joey Votto, Reds. Reds, Reds, Reds. Going to who? Travis S. Not numbered. But cool. All right, Chipper Jones. Atlanta Braves going to Chris C. Chris C with the Chipper Jones. All right, Manny Dodgers. Pretty cool picture. LA Dodgers going to Derwin. Ted Williams, Red Sox. Ted Williams. All right. Altuve, Astros. All right. Still holding out hope. 
Oh, check out Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Astros belongs to Chris G. Pretty cool. Nolan Ryan. All right, Chris Davis, Oakland. Not numbered on the, or not numbered, hello. Not numbered, but not autoed either. That's what I was trying to say. Where's that blue X? There's the blue X. The blue X is coming up next. So we already know it's not gonna be an auto because we cheated. This one, however, Ricky, what do we got in the Ricky? Ricky being Ricky. Oakland, picking one up. Ricky Henderson. All right, here it comes. Here's the one that was in the oddball box. It is Bryce Harper. And as Jeremy said, Bryce comes up as the Nationals in the toppers. So that's the one that was in the box that was missing an auto, although they did make up for an auto later on in the case. So Bryce Harper on that one. It is a Nationals card, though, even though he falls as the fills and most of the other stuff in the product. Hammer and Hank. Braves. Hank Aaron. Box topper for the Braves. Three to go. Sandy Koufax. Dodgers. 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 Koufax. Mookie Betts. Boston Red Sox going to Jeremy B. Mookie Betts Topper coming your way. And the final one, guys. Final one. Jackie Robinson. <clears throat> Jackie Robinson Dodgers. Box Topper number 16, guys. Thanks again for filling it up. We have more Stadium Club on the site, folks. So if you didn't get a chance to get in yet, get into the final two, I think final two cases. Plus we have some personal boxes available as well. So if you want your own box, we can sell you a full box. We can ship it to you sealed. We can bust it open live on camera, however you want to do it. Thanks again.